All right, fellas, well, here we are. Butcher block countertop to a um, gaming desk. So I bought the 39 by 75? Yep. It's a 74 by 39 butcher block. It was like 225 before tax. Uh, just measure it out, 30. And then I cut it. There's a piece remaining. Probably use that for shelving. Do some industrial piping and uh, put it on my room. So I just used some, uh, some sandpaper to 20 grit. I put it on my uh, sander right there. And then I just sanded it down. Make sure I get all the splinters out. And especially the corners. And I just sanded the top and then the sides and the front. So this is gonna be the top. I don't even know if I'm gonna do the bottom. I don't even know if it's worth it. I flipped the butcher block and I love this side. It's got all these imperfections and it's got way more character than the other lamb side. So I just sanded it down. It's got a few splinters. Just be careful when you're feeling it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just sanded it down. Some of the rough spots and I have some epoxy and that's what this is for. <clears throat> it's epoxy. I'm gonna fill in these cracks. All these little little grooves. And uh, man, once it's all nice and uh, poly and you put the stain, these these things are really gonna pop. So I'm really excited about it. So alright, so I put some uh some of the epoxy in the cracks. Pretty level. I mean, it just drops in a little bit. It doesn't fill it all the way, but I mean, if you see it leveled, it's pretty. I mean, it fills the gap. I mean, that's what it's for. I was actually thinking of leaving them just for like the imperfections, you know, because I just like the whole natural look. But I filled it as much as I could, just so it's not a whole dip in there. But I cut it down to 64. I think 74 is way too long. So, usually desks are, I don't know, 28 by 63-ish. So, I don't need that, like, a lot of hanging room. Plus, with the legs, I don't want it to be too, too heavy. So, I mean, I'm happy with the size. It's a good size. The in lies in. I use a wood rotor. <laughs> This is for Yobi. Uh, and these bit, I use a, just this one right here. This one right here. I just traced it out with the pencil. Just started doing it. And then I use this to kind of cut the edges as the video shows. You know, just a little chisel, chiseling it out. Yeah, this thing is powerful, man. Grind out, man. So now I just sanded it down, sanded all the lacquer. It's all sealed in for the most part. I ain't gonna worry about it. It's super perfect. Sealed in with the little sealant there. I think we're golden. So now I'm gonna flip the table and it's gonna be eight center. Yeah, eight inches center and three feet, uh, three inches here. Cut the circle on the bottom. And then just finish it up, lacquer it, stain it. It's ready for the poly. Right, flip the table. So the inlay is on the bottom. So I'm gonna do eight and a half, like I said, eight and a half center here, and then three inches up, and it's and it's just centered. Just trace it. Now I'm gonna cut it up. And I'm gonna run a. Uh, a groove all the way back with the cable and that's it and I'm gonna cut it probably all the way in so maybe like a an eighth maybe like an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter so and then I'm gonna test the uh, I'm gonna drop it in to see if it charges on the other end but all right, all right well my beautiful wood routing right here. Check that out. 
Look at that line. How crooked it is. <laughs> anyway, the freaking thing's a nightmare. I almost took out my forearm. That thing kicks back, man, so you gotta hold on to it really good. And it kicks out. A couple little kicks there. I mean, it's not the most perfect thing in the world, but got the job done. And best of all, I plugged it in. Little $8 charger from Amazon. And it works, man. Yeah, hold on. Let's do two things at once here. So it goes in there. Oh, crap. Whatever. It works. I just gotta, gotta hot glue it right there. Got a little track right there. Oh, so delicious. Yeah, man. All right, let's put some of this free stain wood conditioner. Gonna dry, kind of get the wood ready. There's the inlay. Got another hammer right in. It's not the perfect line, but we just got a little groove right there. It's really hard to get that thing in, man. In. All right, it's ready for stain and poly. All right, well, there's the stain. Looks great, man. I think I'm just gonna leave the uh, in there like that, stained over. So just an FYI, maybe this works, but this is crap. It was super light. Don't get the poly plus stain. I actually have these two. This uh, fruit wood and what's this one? Dark Walnut, 2760, I don't know if you can see it. Zoom in a little bit. Anyway, I, I had these a while back for uh, pallet wall I did. So you just you mix them. It's mostly this one and then just this one to put in darkness. And then I created that, that mixture right there. That's what stained it. Gave it that darker wood. Yeah, I, I didn't like the other one. It was just way too light. So I, I give it a couple passes. Probably gonna give it one more, make it really nice and dark. And then I'm gonna buy some poly here. Poly, just clear, kind of seal it and make sure it doesn't get scratched. So that's it. All right, well, put the first coat of poly. Looks good, man. So that's the first coat. I got the gloss. Anyway, it's water based. They had like a, a wipe on, but I got the clear gloss. It's just a little one. I need all the other fancy stuff. <clears throat> anyway, it's almost done. Yeah, just be careful with the freaking epoxy, because look, it's not even like the stain. I don't know, like the epoxy created like a seal, and the wood can't absorb it. That's what, that's what happened. I made this ugly cracks. So just don't even epoxy it. Just leave it. Honestly, I would. If I could do it all over again, I wouldn't even epoxy anything. Cause I was just trying to fill the gaps. But they actually have this wood fill. That's probably better. Side the. I thought the epoxy was gonna like fill it and like need like a nice clear so you could see like the indent. But it made a big mess. So you can see all the little cracks right there. But. I think all in all, I like the, the, the I just kind of cleaned up the, the emblem. I just coated it with the uh, poly. I mean, all in all, I like it. All right, well, it's all glossed up on the other end. I'm gonna leave this side just like this. Got the hot glue gun heating up. Just gotta hot glue it. And that's it. Get this finished. I gotta put these legs on there. So it'll be three inches in, and then six and six, about there. Yeah, man, it's gonna look great. Let me put these little, uh, little feet on there, and you're golden. All right, well, here it is. The legs are not as wide in the bottom as I would like, 
but does the job. It's pretty sturdy. I hot glued it down there. It's all hot glued. All sealed in. the desk got my LED strip on it yeah it came out really nice got my cable management hooked up good to go success peace